Hey y'all, I wanna take a few minutes to go over the difference between positive and negative controls. So after doing your lab, you should already have your questions filled out. And I'm just gonna take this space over here and do some notes with you guys. So in my little T-chart, I'm gonna go over the difference between positive control and negative control. So a positive control is a control group where if you change the dependent variable, you're expected to see a positive response. Whereas a negative control group, whenever you change the dependent variable, you would expect a negative response. So the reason this is important is because it demonstrates that the changes that you see are due to the changes in the dependent variable and not something else. So if we look at our predictions, I'm gonna go over the positive and negative controls in this experiment. So in this table, these boxes represent the controls that we're talking about. Those that do not have the plasmids for the ampicillin resistance gene. So my first box is my control with just the agar. So there's no ampicillin, it's just the agar, so you would expect for bacteria to grow on this. So my prediction for this would be the presence of bacteria. Now this box over here on the right is my control with the ampicillin agar. So ampicillin is an antibiotic, so we would expect that there would be no bacterial growth on this one because of the presence of that ampicillin. So my control on the left that does not have the ampicillin, the one where we expect to see the bacterial growth is going to be my positive control because we're expecting to actually see a positive result, which would be the growth of that bacteria. If we don't, then we could say that it's probably something else that's preventing the growth, not the dependent variable. Now the Petri dish on the right, we would expect no bacterial growth. So this one is our negative control because we would expect a negative result. If we do see growth, we would expect that it's not caused by the dependent variable. Using both these positive and negative controls in this experiment um, shows us the change being caused by the dependent variable that we're actually testing. This allows us to determine if there's something else causing the change or if we can in fact chalk it up to the change in the dependent variable.